guys welcome to my channel and oh my god i've just realized i have got the worst socks and slippers on ever um anyway ignore the horrendous um socks and slippers look but i'm so sorry this has taken me so long to get my first video up i had such an issue with editing it but anyway here we are to my first um video on my youtube channel so this one is going to be about me questions, some of you may a little bit know a little bit about me already from my Instagram, um, but I thought I'd just go in a little bit more detail. So I've asked you guys some questions on what you would like to know and I'm gonna go through them. So let's get started. Question number one, what was your childhood dreams? So when I was younger, I actually wanted to be in the police. Um, I wanted to be a policewoman and then go on to forensics. So I actually applied and got through to the interview stage um, where you had to do like different role play activities, you had to do a maths test and like a sit down interview. But yeah, unfortunately I didn't get through that. Before becoming an influencer, what career did you want? So I think it's pretty much the same as the first question. I wanted to go into forensics and go into like crime scenes and stuff. Can you sing to Love Your Little Family? Thank you so much. But I would say I'm not, I'm not I can't not sing. But I can't sing. You know, not one of those people where, like, I'm a typical sing in the shower kind of gal. I don't have the best voice, and I definitely would not call me a singer, but I'd say I can have a little tune to my voice. Do you see. One minute. My washing machine's about to take off. I'm really sorry if you can hear that, guys. My washing machine must be like the world's loudest washing machine ever, and as I go up, I spill coffee. How many brothers and sisters do you have and are you close? So I'm actually one of nine. A lot of people don't know that about me. I have got, so there are Angie, Jackie, Vicky, Yasmin, Amy. I've got five sisters. And then I've got Paul, Matt and Stuart, three brothers. We don't all get to see each other that often because um, we've all got like our own lives and things going on and stuff like that. But um, yeah, we do chat occasionally and see each other when we can. What jobs have I had? So going back from like the beginning, I was a cleaner when I was about 13. Then I was a waitress. Then I done administration for pensions. I worked for a few financial advisors and I done a bit of power planning. I was a PA. Do you want more children? Freddie and Leo are gorgeous. Thank you so much. It's really kind of you. Um, we do want more children. I think for the minute, we've got so much going on in our little life that I think it's good for us to just wait until things are a bit more settled until we've got a bit more time to have more kids but yeah we definitely do what's your star sign and do you believe in astrology I do believe in astrology I'm not one of those that reads my horoscopes every single day I did used to always read the newspaper though when I was little like there was always in like magazines weren't they um but I'm a Capricorn and I think that means like as a whole I'm like driven hardworking, caring, I'm not too sure on the others, but I would agree with those. How to best cope with a long distance relationship? So when me and Jake first got together, we were long distance. And I think because that's always what I've been used to, I don't see it as any different now when he goes away. And I think it depends on the kind of person that you are. Like I'm not someone that needs to have someone there with me all the time. So I think that's like a huge factor in it. I also think that when you do see each other, just make the most at that time that you spend with each other, whether it's a day, whether it's a couple of days, um, however long it is, just actually go out and do things, like switch off from everything around you, just take that time, spend time with each other, and it can work. How old was you when you first moved out? I was actually 18 when I moved out. There was literally no reason in it. I was very, very lucky to have savings from my dad. So I actually bought my first house when I was 18, this really cute little apartment. Um, and then I moved out from there when Freddie was little and then me and Jake bought this house here together. Where are you originally from and would you move back there? So I'm actually originally from around where we live in Essex um, and we live here now. What's your earliest childhood memory? Do you know what, my memory is so bad like, honestly, sometimes I actually struggle to remember what, I'm, what I've done yesterday. But I would say it has to be just all the fun times that I had, like, with my friends. 
best friends. We'd have sleepovers Friday and Saturday night. We'd have theme sleepovers. We'd go and do like really fun things. Um, so yeah, I'd say it's with them. Also, a really funny thing when I was little. So you know they had like under 18s. Um, I was never allowed to go to them. Cheers, mum. Um, so once I actually said to my mum that I was going around my friends for sleepover. So bad. Like if I, if my, any of the boys done that now, I'd literally, God, they'd be in such trouble. But I said to my mum I was going around my friends for a sleepover. Actually went to this under 18s club. She of course found out, messaged me, and she actually turned up at the club. I was absolutely mortified. Okay, next question. Do you have parents in your life? We always only hear about Jake's mum and dad. Do you know what? I get this question a lot whenever I do a Q&A or people just randomly message it to me on Instagram. So I thought, do you know what? I'll actually speak about this on my vlog because the thing is with Instagram, I think a lot of people don't realise that Instagram is only like a small fraction of your day and some people choose to put more on their Instagram, which is great, and other people don't choose to put as much on their Instagram as they I have parents and I am really close to them. I just feel like sometimes I don't need to share everything on my page, on my Instagram, and I think because Jake does, people think that I have to as well. And yeah, I just choose not to show certain parts of my life on there. Okay, this is a bit of a different one. What are your thoughts on sustainability as you tend to buy a lot of clothes? I do have a lot of clothes, I will say that, but one thing that I do do is I never just bin clothes. I would never, ever, ever do that. I give them to charity, I give them to friends. If I get gifted things that I necessarily don't think that I will wear again, or even if it's, even if it's like beauty products, I will give them to my family so that they can get use out of them. And now when I buy clothes, I always try and make sure that I buy things that I can wear year after year after year, whether it's a blazer, whether it's a coat, whether it's a beach dress to wear on holiday, whether it's a pair of jeans. I just make sure that I would rather spend that little bit more money on something than buy something cheap, but buy it 10 times over. Are your lips natural? I have had filler in my lips. I probably had the last bit of filler, which was, I think it was like, not even, I think it was like a quarter of a mil, maybe just over a quarter of a mil. And that was about a year ago now, and I haven't had any since then. I'm trying to actually get the filler out of my lips now and try and have more of a natural lip. Um, nothing against people that have filler in their lips, but for me, I think it just makes my face look a bit weird. So yeah. My lips aren't natural, but I am trying to get rid of all the filler in my lips. Do you ever feel overwhelmed? You seem to handle work and mum life so well. I always feel overwhelmed. It's actually something that I really am struggling with at the moment. Feeling overwhelmed, trying to balance my time, like balance me as a mum between Jake, between the kids, between my friends, between the house, like trying to give everyone like the same amount of time and as well as working, as well as doing the housework and stuff like that, I have actually decided to have therapy on it because I think, not for me, I don't feel like I need that regular therapy, but you know when you have those days where you're like, feel like the whole world is like coming down on you and you just need someone to like steer you in the right direction, make you like see things straight. That's what I feel like I really need. And I've got my friends, I've got my family to offload on, but sometimes you need someone that's like, from like an outsider's perspective to sort of give you their views on like how you can like manage life a bit better. Um, but yeah, maybe I'll do another little, maybe I'll do another little vlog on that as well. What's your best advice you think from planning a wedding? Did you ever feel overwhelmed? I would say I felt overwhelmed at times, but it was more stressed. I was very, very stressed about it. And I look back at it now and I think, my God, like, how did you let yourself get like that? My advice would be to just delegate jobs. Like, don't think that you're alone planning a wedding. Like, don't be scared to ask like your friends or your family or your sister if you've got a sister or someone like that to help you out. Okay. How old was you when you had Freddie and how long was you with Freddie's dad for? So I had Freddie when I was, I fell pregnant when I was 20, had him when I was 21, which now looking back at it, oh my God, I was so, so young. I was literally still a baby. But me and Freddie's dad were with each other on and off for like, I can't even remember now, probably like eight, nine years, I'd say. It was a long time. I'm so sorry, guys. My camera died, and then I refilmed on my phone and did not clean my screen enough. And when I went to edit it, 
it was like I was drunk. It was that blurry. So I thought I'd quickly come back on now and say thank you so much for watching my video. I'm sorry that I had to end it as I did. Um, but if there's anything else you want to see on my channel, drop me a message in the comments below and I will see what I can do. But thank you so much again for watching and have a lovely day.